So first things first, eh? what is an item set? So basically the item sets is a way for you to change the custom build in a game when you click on the shop for a specific champion or a specific map or both of them together. So when you click on the, 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 the shop thing it will give you a specific list of items that you've already predefined for that specific champion. Which is really cool because you don't have to go searching through it, especially if you're new to the game and you don't know the cost of items, you're not specifically sure what item you should be buying, it's, it's all so much over your head. All you want to be concentrating on right now is learning the game, not all the sort of tweaks and little differences between the items. So you can set that up at the very beginning and then afterwards you play your game, you go to the shop and there's your list, which, which you probably would have got and I recommend that you have gotten from a guide. Once you start to get more experience with that champion and that particular guide, you can then start to tweak it for your, your own personal gameplay, which is what I've done for all my item sets and continue to do anyway. So let's get on with it. So first to find the item sets, we go to the profile up the top. That should open your own. And then we're going to click on item sets, which is on the top right hand side. Now in the interest to keeping things simple, uh, never mind I've got ones made in that, but I don't want to go into builds and things that are on this already. So we're going to click here to make a new one. So we click on the plus, it gives us custom item set 22, but yours should be custom item set 1 or whatever you've got on yours. So we're going to change this to say Oriana for an example. Oriana. Now to pick it specifically for Oriana only and Summoner's Rift only, we go to maps and champions. Choose specific maps for this item set. So we want to pick it for Summoner's Rift only. And then choose specific champions for this item set. We want to pick it for Oriana only, which is here. Now, that's then picked. So now we go back to items of this section, this here. We we'll click on that. So Oriana starting item. So we want to start off Oriana with a Doran's ring, uh, mostly. So ideal start for her is a Doran's ring and some health pots. So let's knock that back. Uh, health pot. And help pot, and then you would get the yellow trinket. Okay. So from there, you want to go into say your first back, or no, not even first back. Let's just say, for instance, you want to do uh, against against an AD mid. You might want to start a slight bit dif different, so you could have this on it as well. So against an AD start, you would get a cloth armor, and you would get four health pots. One and four and perhaps a mana pot so you could spam a little bit more so I can even find a mana pot here and I'll maybe just search for it there are we mana potion okay so that's it there um, for instance now when you go in game and it comes up the top left hand side normally it says recommended uh, builds but now you will have the option the little arrow you can click on that and select custom which will come up as Oriana like this so let's just say on uh, on first back we want to we want to rush. Let's just say we want to rush the chalice for mana, so we can spam a wee bit more. So on our first back chalice, just search for it, click it. Now first back we would ideally we should have 880 gold anyway. That's for sure on your first back. Maybe maybe not. Um, and then let's just say we want to get a ward too. A ward. And maybe we might get another health pot just for the sake of having some health. Who knows? You might not have that much gold, we don't know. So let's just say we want to look at end game build. So ideally in the end game you would expect to have a Rabadon's that cap as Oriana. You would expect to have a fight stuff, perhaps. Perhaps in the Andres. Now some of these will be situational too. Depends on how good it goes. Um, who's on your hourglass? You would want in the teens maybe. Uh, teens, and you would want sorcerer shoes. Assuming when everything has gone good. Right, so that will be your your end build. So now basically, once I press save on this. Now that's saved, and when I go in game, like I said, I just have to press on the 
the shop where the items come up on it, up the top left where it says recommended, instead of saying recommended, you can click that and just se select Oriana and this is the build that will come up instead of the recommended. So instead of being in game and having to like, um, I know when you're new to the game it's hard to remember the item names, the, how, the recipes for certain items and that as well and how much they cost. But now you just have to look and there's your items come up exactly like this and you'll have an idea. Now you can tweak these of course any way you want them. So there you have the item sets. I hope that's helped you out in some way, shape or form. Please keep an eye out for the part 4 of this guide. Which trinketh and warding. Wards equals map hacks. Oh yeah, just about. That's it for part 3 of the complete beginner's guide for League of Legends. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Bye bye for now.